Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Lenovo IdeaPad 320. The exact model is the 32017 IKB. I'm going to show you how to get inside to access your CMOS battery. In case you need to replace it or in case you need to reset BIOS manually, this video should help. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now there's quite a lot of screws here. You have these four on the, on the bottom edge of your screen, these five along the top edge of your screen, this one here near your DVD drive, these three in the middle, and these two here on the right edge. Now after removing all of these screws, you wanna also remove your DVD drive here before attempting to take off your bottom case. So you're gonna have a small flat pry tool. You're gonna to put it right in this seam here. And then you're gonna gently but firmly slide it to the left to remove that DVD drive. Be careful, these are known to pop off and break. So press firmly, but do it slowly. Don't do it so hard uh, where you break this off before the DVD drive has time to slide over. After that, you're gonna take your small flat plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal tends to scratch your case is more. But you'll take your small flat plastic pry tool, go all the way around the seam of your bottom case and pry it off from the rest of your computer. It may take a while, especially if you're not used to this procedure, uh, but just go slow. Don't put the pry tool too far in to damage things. Keep it on the edge and go nice and slow but firm. Also be aware right here, guys, you'll see after you remove this DVD drive, what's left is a very thin, very breakable piece of plastic that you're gonna to have to pry off from the, the rest of the computer. So be very careful there that you don't break that. But after you get all your screws off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. As a side point, guys, whenever I work on a computer in my shop, I always have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet go a long way to help you avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on it. If you need help with any tools or supplies like that for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts like your battery, hard drive, RAM, any replacement or upgrade parts for this model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, and I'll have a list of all those tools and parts for the Lenovo IdeaPad 320 17iKB. Also, before touching anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug the main computer battery, which is right down here on the right-hand side of your screen. I actually had a hard time unplugging this without removing the battery. There wasn't a lot of wiggle room here with the wires, and I couldn't get a good grip on that plug. So unfortunately, I had to pull from the wires, which I always say not to do but I didn't have much of a choice. So in this computer, I had to remove the battery. You have a screw here on the bottom left, screw here in the middle top, screw here on the right hand side. And after those screws came up, I was able to pull that out gently of that port. So after you've removed or at least unplugged your battery, we're safer now to proceed deeper in. This is your CMOS battery right here. It's wrapped in black electrical tape and it's plugged into the motherboard here. If you're here to replace the CMOS battery, you would unplug it right there. Um, avoid pulling on wires, but put your fingernails or a pry tool or, or some pliers or something on that plug and pull it out of that port to the left. The actual battery is held on by just some double-sided tape, so you can pull that off fairly easily. If you're here to just reset BIOS, you don't need to physically remove the battery. Just unplug it from the motherboard, leave it unplugged for 10, 15, maybe 20 seconds, and then plug it back in, that should be sufficient to reset your BIOS settings. Keep in mind, that will only reset the operating settings in BIOS. It will not, in most cases, it will not reset the BIOS password if that's why you're here. So I hope this video helped you out, guys. Get into the computer, access your CMOS battery. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you need to leave me a question, feel free. I do try to get to those a couple times a day. And also, again, like mentioned before, if you're looking for a replacement CMOS battery, check out the link below in the description where I have all the tools and parts for this computer. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.